guys, an RC gift for under 50 bucks, which isn't a waste of money. I think I found it. Stay tuned. <laughs> So guys, if you're looking for a present for under 50 bucks, the car needs to go off-road, it needs to be fun, it needs to have ball bearings, a metal chassis, fully proportional steering and throttle and drives on a 2S Liper battery, well I think that this is the car to buy. So let me get everything out of the box so I can show you what's inside there. Inside the box you will find the car, the transmitter, some instructions, some spare gears and body clips, a charger and mine came with two 400mAh 2S LiPo batteries. So let's have a closer look at the transmitter first. The transmitter runs on 4 AA's which you need to supply of your own. So it is capable of running and driving, we've got a phone wheel and the build quality feels all fine. So this is the on off switch, we've got a little button over there but I'm not sure where the, what this is supposed to do. We've got a steering trim and we've got the throttle dual rate and that's all to say about it. So let's have a closer look at the car now. And here is the car guys, what do you think of it? Well I think that this car really looks amazing. So inside this car you will find a four wheel drive setup, independent front and rear suspension. We've got some ball bearings inside there, a three wire servo, a metal chassis, it runs on a 2S LiPo battery and a fully working light system. And I paid only 50 bucks for this little car. So for the money I think that this is a really good purchase. But of course we're going to test drive it and we're going to look at all the details. In the front of the car you'll find the plastic front bumper and here you can see the independent suspension. And just look at the dark bones, so we've got tiny metal dark bones sitting right over there. I'm not sure if you can see those but these really look cute. So the suspension are just simple friction sharks, but you know that's all fine for a car of this size. So we've got some ball bearings in the front and in the rear, but I'm not sure if this car has got ball bearings throughout. So underneath here you'll find the metal chassis rails, here you'll find the motor and here in the rear you'll find the same setup as in the front. And we've got even some really bar thing going on and a full proper spare tire and we've got a lot of details just look at this so we even got an exhaust system a mirror an extinguisher and some ventilation thinging going on there yeah this car really looks amazing so if you want to open the body you've got only one tiny body clip sitting right over there when you have removed that little piece then you can open the body just like this and just look underneath here guys so here you'll find all the wires for the leds so this is your two-in-one receiver ESC combination and right over there is your three wire server and that's always a good thing so this is the motor and it is i'm not sure about the size but if i can find it i'll put it in the screen right now and we've got a heatsink pre installed on the motor and that's always a good thing so on this side of the car you'll find the battery tray we've got some aluminium uh, metal parts right over there we've got a metal drive shaft and yeah that's it uh, it i think so yeah for the money i think that this car has got fully packed so let me throw in some batteries and show you when it's on The car is powered on and here you can see all the LEDs, just look at it. So we've got a proper light system inside there and I really like that. So the steering servo has got plenty of speed and we even got plenty of power, just look at this. So that's already a thumbs up for me. So throttle wise this is full throttle, wow that's got some decent wheel speed. Yeah I really like this so far. So yeah for now there's only one thing left to do and that's take it outside for a spin. So guys with the tarmac road and the first thing that we're going to do we're going to speed run this little car. So in the advertisement they claim that this car should do like 30 kilometers an hour. So let's see if that is correct. Here we go. Here it comes full speed. Whoa. The steering is a bit twitchy. Well not twitchy it's more like sensitive. But it's got a pretty decent speed this little car. So here it comes full throttle. Oh, into the ditch. Here it comes, full speed. Whoa, this car is pretty lively. Turn it around, here we go again. Yeah, just look at it go, man. This is a fun little car. The steering is a bit sensitive, but you have to really yeah, learn how to drive this little car. So here it comes. Here it is, guys, full speed. 
So guys, I gave it a couple of runs and we hit the 27 kilometers an hour. So that's a pretty decent speed for the car of this size. And yeah, it's pretty close to the advertisement speed. So now let's take it off road and see what happens there. So guys, I've been driving this car around for a couple of minutes now and I must say this is a fun little car. So it is a bit bouncy, but you know, this car has just got friction shock, so that's all fine. And yeah, be a small stone, for example, is a big boulder for a car of the 124 scale. So yeah, that's all fine. But this car has got plenty of power. It's got plenty of, yeah, quality, I think, until now, you know, it's all in one piece. And I crashed it like a couple of times, even on the tarmac so far. And yeah, just look at it go, man. This is just a fun little car. And already I saw that you can buy a lot of upgrade parts for this car. You know, like different motors, metal parts, ball bearings, and a lot more metal gears, for example. But so far, this car really impresses me, especially for the price point. So I paid around, I think it was 50 bucks or something. I'm gonna put the link down below so you can check it out for yourself. But for the money, just look at it go, man. This is just a fun little car. So let's yeah do a full speed off road. Here it goes. Oh, I just hit a small stone for that car, big rock. So here it comes. Yeah, this is just a fun little car to drive. So yeah, for now I will just give you some driving footage and then I will come back to you with my final thoughts about this little car. <laughs> So guys, that was the driving with this little car, and what do I think of it? Well, for the money, I think that this is a great purchase. I cannot think of another car for the same money, so this will cost you around 50 bucks or something, and that you will have more fun for 50 bucks. I cannot think of another car. So I really like this car. Is it perfect? Well, it's not perfect. So when driving two lipos through there, the motor was just very, very warm, and I, I couldn't even touch it anymore. So that was when driving onto the gravel, so just pay attention when driving this little car off-road, your motor will get pretty warm but overall for the money i think this car is just great so we hit the 27 kilometers an hour we've got a light system inside there you know we've got a two-way lipo we've got a three-wire server inside there so for the money i think that this is just a great car all right guys that was it for today thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you've got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video Bye bye